Kia ora, my name's Anna and I'm from String Bean Puppets. Welcome to Puppet Playtime at Capital E. Today I'd like to introduce you to a special puppet for this time of year. See if you can guess who this is. I'll give you a clue. Let's count the stars. Tahi, Rua, Toru, Fa, Rima, Ono, Fitu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stars. The seven stars of Matariki. Matariki is a constellation or group of stars that we see in our night sky. It's also a time of year. If you get up really early at Matariki, before the sun's up, you'll see this constellation rising up above the horizon, welcoming in the new day and the new year as a kaitiaki looking over and after us. This puppet is from my show Once in a Full Moon that I perform a lot at Matariki. And she reminds us how we can be kaitiaki for all the special creatures that live in Aotearoa, like the kiwi that feature in that show. Today, we're going to make our own special Matariki kaitiaki constellation marionette. Let's have a look at the materials we're going to need to make our puppet. For your puppet, you will need a square of fabric the fabric is going to be the night sky, so black or dark blue is ideal. You'll also need some string or wool, some tin foil, some newspaper, a stone, an ice cream container lid, and a piece of white paper or card, and also two safety pins. The equipment you'll need is a marker pen, a hole punch, glue stick, some sticky tape, and some scissors. Now let's get started. Take your piece of fabric and fold it in half on the diagonal. Now take your stone and wrap it in a piece of scrunched up newspaper. Now put the stone underneath the fold in the middle and now we're going to scrunch the fabric around it. This is going to be Matariki's head and we'll secure the stone in there, tying a piece of string or wool around what will be Matariki's neck. There we go. So these two corners are going to be Matariki's hands. So we're going to make two more little newspaper balls. And so wrap the fabric around and tie them with the string. And put in the other little newspaper ball and tie it with the string. Now we're going to draw some Matariki eyes. So take your piece of paper and your marker pen and draw two little circles. You could draw two little stars inside those circles to give your Matariki puppet starry eyes. Or you could just make some regular eyes. It's up to you. Now cut out your eyes and stick them on. One, two, there. So now it's time to add some stars to our Matariki puppet. Let's look at the constellation of Matariki and see what those stars look like. So you can see that some of these seven stars appear bigger than the others. These four stars 
Ururangi, Waipunarangi, Waita and Matariki all appear bigger than Waiti, Tupuarangi and Tupuanuku, which are smaller stars. So I'm going to draw four big stars and three small stars. So take your piece of white paper or card and a piece of tin foil. Now put the glue all over one side of your piece of paper. And stick the tin foil on top. Just smooth it down. There. Now on the white side, we're going to draw our stars. How do we draw the stars? Some people draw stars by drawing two triangles, like this. Or you can draw a star like this. You start to draw a triangle, and then the next line goes halfway through this line, cuts off the tip, and then comes back to join up with this line. Or you could do a Google Images search for stars and print out some star images and then stick them directly onto the tinfoil and cut out your stars. Or you might have something like a star-shaped cookie cutter or a star stencil that you could use. So I've drawn two big stars already. I'm going to draw two more big stars. So we have four big stars and now we're going to draw three small stars. One, two, three. Now cut out your stars and it's time to stick them onto a Matariki puppet. So let's have a look again at the constellation. So Ururangi is a big star at the top of the constellation. So I'm going to stick a big star on the top of Matariki's head, like that. Directly below Ururangi we can see Waita, another big star. So I will stick that down at the bottom point of the Matariki puppet. Waipunarangi, another big star, is out to the side near Matariki's hand. And Matariki is another big star opposite that. Waiti is a little star below Waita. And Tupuarangi and Tupuanuku are two little stars off to the side of Matariki. So here's my constellation of Matariki. Now I'm going to attach some strings. First we'll need to make the control though. We're going to use our ice cream container lid for the control. And in our ice cream container lid, we need to make five holes. So I've marked where we'll put the holes. This one here will be for the string to attach to the neck of Matariki. This one here will be for the string to attach to one side of the head. And this one here is for the other side of the head. And these two are to attach the strings that will control Matariki's arms. Now to make the holes, I've used a hole punch. To get your hole punch in, you're going to need to cut a little bit of the border off, which I've done here. I'll show you. So just cut a little bit of the edge off so you can get your hole punch in. And then make sure it's all the way in so you can punch your hole. Now, to attach the strings, on the side of Matariki's head, we're going to attach our safety pins. So we're going to attach them point down. The other strings will just tie around the hands and around the back of the neck. So here's the control. So we have 
the string for the back of the neck that will tie on there, the string for the side of the head, which will tie onto each of the safety pins, and one long continuous string going up and down through these two holes will tie onto each of the hands. So let's have a look at our Matariki puppet. So here is your Matariki kaitiaki puppet. Being a kaitiaki, she's really good at giving hugs. Happy Matariki and happy puppet making.